Brian, I'm glad I ran into you. Look, we got a problem. There's a broken main in the supply room. Will you see that it gets fixed, please? I gotta call the power company. Okay, Dan. Oh, Dan, every floor in the hospital is reporting electrical problems. I know, I know. Operator, give me county power, please. Hello? Yeah, this is Dan Rooney at General Hospital. Look, we've got an emergency here. Yes, I said we have an emergency. The power's out. You supply power, we need it. Look. Georgia, what's going on? Main I left, everything was under control. What is your situation? Out by Not good. Leak the electricity's haywire. The, the lights flicker and then go way down. Oh, look, please, will you give me somebody who can... I'll be in cardiac, Wing. It's really bad, huh? We're on the edge we of a real disaster. Some of our patients could die. Hassan, can I expect you? Problems, Dr. Weber? Yes. Mm. Very definitely. Oh. Oh, you got a real problem in CICU. What's a working on power company? Well, they've got a crew working on it. They're going to have to do it a little faster. We've got to get the main power back on before the auxiliary generator well, goes out for good. Everything that can be done is being done. Well, Dan, it's going to have to be done better and faster. Hi, Dan. Oh, oh Brian, look, Dr. Uh, Wilson, please. would you Dr. go down Dr. to the main Wilson. switching room and get a report from the hospital no, electrician right just as soon as there's a change in the situation? Please, please. Right. Thank you. Jesse, what are you doing here? I thought you might need some help. This is your night off. Well, I think we need all the help we can get, so here I am. Leave it to you to be here in a crisis. Oh, well, I came as soon as I heard, Dan. <laughs> well, they could use some help in the emergency room. Why don't you go down there? On my way. Thanks, Jesse. All right, thank you, Dr. Wilson. The lights first went out in the emergency, Rick. But they're okay down there now. As a matter of fact, the main backup generator is taking care of emergency and surgery just fine. Well, that's good. It's this other generator that's the problem. There they go again. Dan, how long is it going to take? I don't know. I sent Brian down to try to get a report, but I'm too antsy to wait for him. I think I'll go down there and see if I can get the report myself. Well, I'll be in emergency. Right. Oh, that's where I'm going. Wait up, Doc. Be all right. The lights. Get to you as soon as we can. My hand's good pretty bad. Well, I know, but that bandage should hold it until the doctor's ready to see you. The pain in my stomach's getting worse. We'll get to you in a minute, really. You're gonna be all right, okay? Let me You're next. See that. Okie dokie. Absolutely normal. But this headache. I know, I know. If you can just be patient for a couple more minutes, we will definitely get to you. In fact, I'll have that in Yeah? Yeah, yeah, give me a hand for a second. Please. Please. Just a minute. Yeah. What's that? little boy, he's very frightened. He has to go for immediate surgery, appendicitis. Can you just come in and oh, reassure sure. him? Of course. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, oh, fine. Yeah, I Thank you. Don't feel so good and you have to go upstairs, but you're kind of scared. Is that true? Well, I tell you what I could do. If you liked, I could go up with you and I could talk to you and tell you about everything that's going on and we could get to be friends. Would you like that? You would? Okay, I'll go along upstairs with you. Wait right here and I'll be right back. Let's get him up right away. Okay. Have him prepped. I'll come just as soon as you call. All right. Thank you. Are you okay? I'm fine. Fine. Okay. Let's wheel him up. A strap on you just like you're getting into a ride, you know, because you're gonna go whizzing through the halls, my dear. Wait till you see, you're gonna be the only guy riding, everybody else is gonna be walking. It's all right, honest. I'll hold your hand. Huh? Oh, you're a big guy, you don't need anybody holding your hand. Thank you. Actually, it's gonna be fun for you. I mean, you get to ride, of course, you have to rock. Okay, but I'm gonna go with you all the way up. So Jesse, all the staff doctors been called. Oh, uh, yes, everybody's here, or at least on the way, except Good. Noah Drake. What? I can't reach him. Well, you stay on until he gets here. I want him in this hospital. All right. And if you can't find him, I want to know that, too. Okay, I'll let you know. Rick, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. What is it? I just saw Dan. He told me to tell you that he's ordered the kitchen equipment and the refrigerator is turned off. Well, that's good. The lights will be kept off, too, except those that are vital to the care of the patients. Fine, fine idea. How soon before we have power? I don't know. They're working on it. Nobody knows how to fix up the backup generator. You're kidding. I don't believe that. Rick, that's the situation. How are things in OR? 
The good backup generator is doing fine. The surgical lights are steady, and so are the machines. Oh, well, that's great. Uh, Rick. Yes, sir. Sorry, we have a problem. I thought we were full up of problems. What's this one? Well, it's all a confusion. I mean, uh, the, the men from the power company and the shifting of the patients, the way we're moving around, and uh, some of the nurses are saying that the patients who are supposed to be sleeping are wide awake, and they're trying to figure out what's going on, and they're really getting to be kind of panicky. We can't have that, Audrey. All you can do is tell the nurses to continually reassure the patients. That's all. Rick, excuse me. Yes, I'm Jesse. sorry. I cannot get Noah Drake. He's not answering his beeper. Jesse, you stay on his back until you get him. He's supposed to have that beeper on at all times. I want an answer. Excuse me. So much for the serenade. <laughs> I've never known anybody like you before. Oh, when they made me, I think they threw away the mold. Mm, and modesty went right along with it. No, no, I'm agreeing with you. Oh. Noah, please, you better get that. I will in a minute. This is not the first time they have signaled you. It could be important. It could be about one of your patients. No, no, no. I have no patients that are critical. Noah. <sighs> okay. Can I have a phone, please? Of course. Okay. I will feel a lot better once you call. Anything to make you feel better. Here you are, sir. Thanks. I could put this beeper on a slow boat to Kansas. <laughs> Hi, this is Noah Drake. What? Why don't they call an electrician? Yeah, okay. uh, the patient's in any danger? No, then I don't understand. <sighs> yeah, okay. Tell Dr. Weber I'll be right there. What is it? The main power has gone out at General. Uh, they have enough backup for emergency and surgery, so I don't understand what the problem is. But Rick Weber wants all the doctors to pitch in. Well, if that's what Rick Weber wants, I'm going along with you. No, 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 no. You stay and finish I this. want to. <laughs> well, if you insist. But uh, finish your dinner, because Jesse made it quite clear that uh, they're holding the fort. Jesse is the kind of lady who never wants to alarm anybody. But, all things considered, I would really rather be at the hospital. All things considered, I'd rather be in Philadelphia. <laughs> Let's go. I will make sure that she gets it. Yes. Okay, right. Bye-bye. Mrs. Johnson, why don't you go back to your room and see if you get some sleep. Everything's going to be fine here, okay? Go on. Oh, yeah, let me check. Um, room 744, right down the hall there, okay? Take it easy with her. How's everything, Annie? Oh, the patient's call board's just lighting up like crazy. It's well, everything's crazy I tonight. Know. Thank you. What a knife. I'll say. Your patient's call board is lit up like a Christmas tree. Maybe, but it's nothing like Christmas, Ruby. Tell me, I've been down in the supply room with several others. We've been mopping for hours. It looks like a swamp. I've heard, I know. Look, is there anything I can do to help? George just said it was pandemonium up here. Yes, there is. We just admitted someone to 744. Would you make sure that there's a housekeeping package in there and see those towels and a water pitcher, okay? You got it. On my Thank way. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I just took care of four patients who came up from emergency. That's hectic, huh? Oh, boy, you know how slow it is sometimes at night? Well, tonight, with all our problems, emergency still. Oh, here you go. Put it here. See you later. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. How's this floor, Doug? We're hanging in there. <laughs> oh, good. I've got two surgeries scheduled right now. Monica's on a third, so I better head on up. On 10, you're going to have to decide which patient to operate on. You got it. Okay. Well, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Me too. Holding up. I'm a little beat. Gotta take a break, you know? 
Leslie, I can't. I have two cases that have to go into surgery. Now, it's very difficult for me right now to decide which one is the most critical of the two. And you're not in the world's best shape to make that kind of decision. Leslie, I don't have any choice. What's the situation? Well, I'm glad to see it didn't take you that long to get from the seventh floor. You know, the x-rays of the Rupp boy? Yes, David Rupp. He's being prepped right now. Right. Yeah, I just read the admitting report. It's a uh, white blood cell count. is 25,000, and I've already looked at the x-rays. What? I'd like to do the operation. I know you have a patient waiting in uh, the operating theater, so I will take care of the Rupp boy. Go to it, doctor. I'm on my way. One second. CCIU, right. Give me that number if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Yes, main desk. Oh, yes, I'm trying to locate Dr. Weber, but he is in CCIU at the moment. And I will have him get back to you just as soon as possible. Right, all right. Yes, we're having an emergency here in the hospital. An electrical emergency, right. Yes. Desk. This is the supervisor of the nurses. I'm sorry, but all of our nurses are busy at the moment. Yes, yes, we're having an electrical emergency. I'll have them call you. Yes. Right. Oh, Dan, this is a night I'll never forget. How long things I won't forget it either. Never mind that. What's going on? Well, the crew's taken care of our problem. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. What progress are they making? Well, they'll be installing a line into the hospital any minute now. Any minute? Any minute? All I'm getting are promises. Oh, take it easy, Dan. Yeah, I guess I'm blowing my cool. I was also told to warn the necessary people there's going to be a blackout. A what? Dan, will you let me finish? Oh, I'm sorry. Look, there's going to be a blackout the minute they switch from the backup generators to the main system. And how long will this blackout last? It's hard to say. If the system works, only a few seconds. And if it doesn't work? Then they'll have to switch back to the generators. And if that happens? There may be a complete loss of power for a few minutes. Great. They're doing their best, Dan. We all are. They had to be warned, and everyone has to be warned. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Listen, I'm sorry, Brian, for being so abrupt Look, with you. Look, Dan, I understand. Yeah, good, good. Listen, I uh, better go and warn them in emergency. Look, I'll warn the others. Yeah, fine. Thanks. Georgia, it looks like you're going to have to hold down the fort by yourself. I'll get by. Yeah, yeah I know you will. be all right. I'm just going to have Bill take you up to x-ray. It hurts. I know it does. You may have broken it, but it's going to feel better soon, I promise. Good, good. You just take this prescription and you have it filled at any pharmacy. Okay. And you take one tablet the minute you get home, okay? I will. I'm sure you'll be fine. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Excuse me. Well, Rick and Noah are both operating now. I know. Oh. Peace. Isn't it wonderful? Well, maybe something good will come out of this. Yeah. Hey, I just got the word. We're going to try to go back on the main juice. Fantastic. Oh, great. Not too soon. But. Oh, there's one of those. But there may be a blackout. No. Oh, no, we can't yeah. afford a blackout. What would the blackout mean to the operating room? Boy, I'm glad it's not my appendix is being taken Amy, out Amy, right Dan, Rick, and Noah are both operating right this minute. Well, the hope is that when the main power comes back on, there will only be a second or two of darkness. Well, I hope that's all it will be. Yeah. Well, if the main system doesn't work, the blackout could last longer. The good generator will come back on. What does that mean in the operating room? Well, the hope is it won't affect the operating room. The generator should stay on until the main system kicks in. But they're not sure. Well, you never can tell. Maybe we all ought to say a prayer. Oh, no. Anyway, the main juice better come back on soon because there isn't enough battery power to last much longer. Dan, Wonderful. I just got word from the crew. What is it? They're going to turn the power off in about 30 seconds. Oh. 30 seconds? Well, no. Light, and there was light. 
Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 